Hello, welcome back to Simple Cooking with Eric. Wow, I haven't been. I miss you guys. Listen, today we're going to do a, a video cooking with the baby. Say hi, Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Look at, look at the camera. Well, anyway, I'm going to try to do this quick video. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a cranberry banana nut bread using a Krispy Kreme cake mix. And what I'm going to do, I kind of add my variation to make it into a banana bread. A neighbor of mine, um, my neighbor is really nice and he cut my grass on Sunday and um, he asked me what I make him some banana bread. So I thought about it and I had this cake mix. I did not like this cake mix. Uh, which is the Krispy Kreme donut cake mix. I do not like it. It's like it has a hint of nutmeg in it already. I just didn't like it. So uh, I brought these for 25 cents at Walmart. They were on sale for 25 cents. So I said, what can I do with these cake mixes? So I figured out I could do a banana nut bread. So let's get started. I'm going to do this real quick, people. So over here, we have some uh, smash. Uh, Banana, they were frozen. I have some almonds, a cup, a cup and a half of almond, a cup and a half of uh, dry cranberry, and two cups of smashed bananas. I also have two cups of water, a cup of oat, quick cooking oats, a cup of oil, four eggs, and oh, and I just had that, and a cup of flour. And in this bowl, I have two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of ginger, ground ginger, a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So all I'm going to do is dump everything in the bowl. So Mackenzie is going to cook this with me, right Mackenzie? And then go the other one, she won't now. So folks, I'm doing everything in the bowl. And the reason why I'm adding the flour and the oats, because the the cake mix is not uh strong enough to to hold the weight of uh, everything. I got my oats. And I'm gonna give it a a, a stir. All my dry ingredients. Y'all see the other grandbaby, she don't woke up. And like I said, this is quick. I'm going to add in my water. I'm going to add in my cup of oil. And I'm sitting down doing this cook. I'm going to add in my four eggs. And I'm going to add in a tablespoon of butter extract. But banana extract, I'm sorry. Banana extract. And I got my oven heated at 350. And you know, I'm just trying to get some of this up there to hold this baby. And then I'm going to add in all of my ingredients. My nuts and bananas. Trust me, folks, it, it is going to come out right. And sometimes, like, if you have cake mix and you don't know what to do with it, it is an uh, easy way to, and then I'm just going to use a spoon. It smells so good, people. The baby coughing. She's not coughing over the banana bread though. Mariah, say hi to the people. Say hi, Mariah. Mariah, she's not gonna say hi, but she's gonna watch, right? So this called this episode is called Cooking with the Babies. Thank you. As you see, you all, that's all to it. 
Now I had um like I said my neighbor asked me to make this for him and last time I made it I made it the same way. Um the only different uh, to this time I'm adding the um the oaks. I didn't add the oats last time. But I wanted to add the oats to give the to make uh he's kinda a little healthy too, Contest. And what I'm going to do, folks, I have these uh, mini loaf pads, aluminum loaf pads, and um, the same neighbor gave me a whole case of aluminum pans and baking pans and things. So I'm going to give them back to him. I'm going to put his bread in. So I'm, I'm going to fill these up. I'm going to fill these up. And once I fill them up, let me fill one up so you can see how much I'm going to put in. Remember, I'm holding the baby, you all. Show the baby some. Yeah, show the baby why I need some. See, she says, hi, she's cooking with Papa. So far, as you see, I'm going to, that's uh, about as much as I'm going to fill them up. And I'm going to put these in the oven for about 20 minutes. And uh, 20 to 25 minutes. And once they're done, I'll show you the result. So we're back with our, um, Banana cranberry uh, nut, banana nut, ban cranberry banana nut bread. And so I, I let them cool, and as you can see how nice they baked up. We have to show the bread. Oh, excuse me, this, this, this is ghetto. But you see how nice and firm they are. And so they have cool. And like I said, you can use uh, any type of cake mix you want. They firm and, and solid. So what we're going to do, as you all, My as you all know that I told you all that I, uh, hold on, Mariah, that uh, you can use any type of cake mix. So the Krispy Kreme cake mix come with pouches of glaze. So I'm just going to squeeze a little of the glaze on top of it. This is the chocolate one. Oh, pause I don't want the chocolate. So, and let me put her down, you all. She's, so, like I said, it came with a pouch that I had the chocolate one, but I wanted the clear glaze. And as you see, I'm just going. I'm just gonna squeeze a little of that glaze on it. Look at that. But you use any type of cake mix and you just make your glaze. And now let's cut let's cut it open. Let's see how it looks on the inside. Look at that people. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'm cut into it. See that? It's soaked all the way. It's not. Uh, it's not too dense. It's still kind of a little light. It's not too dense. They got the bananas and you got you see the nuts. Okay. Now let's see. Let's try a piece. That's a really good bread. Remember, simple cookie, any type of cake mix, you could put any kind of nut or, or fruit or any any, any uh, type of fruit, whatever your choice. They make a, um, you can use a um, spice cake mix or a carrot cake mix and just add, add your, own, your own ingredient. But remember, when you're doing 
using the technique and you add in fruit and nuts and all that, I always add you like a, a cup of flour, a half a cup per cake mix of flour, and, and like you gonna add some oats. I always add an extra flour and a teaspoon of bacon powder to, to kind of strengthen the, the, the batter. But I use the plain yellow um, cake mix with a Krispy Kreme version. And I added all the spices. I added a teaspoon of ginger, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of nutmeg, and I added a teaspoon of bacon uh, uh, powder, two teaspoons of bacon powder, and I added a cup of rolled oat, quick cooking oats, and I added also a cup of flour with the four eggs and a cup of oil and two cups of water. And I had a, two cups of smashed bananas and a cup of cran dry cranberries and a cup of sliced almonds. So um, you can do the simple cooking with Eric. Cranberry banana nut bread. Until then, peace out and remember to like, share, and subscribe. And also remember that click the bell so that you can be notified every time I put up a new video. God bless until then. Love you. Love you.